Why Apple is America's freedom champion. Is this Apple's sidestep of USB-C? The Wireless Power Consortium, who knew that was a thing, announced the next generation of Qi charging yesterday, and it looks suspiciously like Apple's MagSafe. And there's really a good reason that it does. Apple gave it to them. Now I know everyone has been asking for USB-C in iPhones forever, and I'm not saying that this won't come, but this is kind of sussy. You sussy butter. Everyone said that Apple won't switch to it because of lightning licenses and the money that they make off of made for iPhone. I think that's 100% wrong, and I think it's about freedom and American values, and as a European British guy, I think they might have the right idea here. Here's the big issue. I don't hate the idea of Apple's iPhone having a USB-C port. I don't. I don't hate the idea of a universal charging standard. Not at all. And I'm a lefty in general. But I'm not happy about certain governments renowned for taking forever to make a decision and slow to change and mandating a specific port for wired charging of devices. And here's why. Apple used the 30-pin connector in 2003 for the iPod. And it served us well for almost a decade. Before that, they used Firewire. But in 2012, nine years later, the Lightning port was introduced, which is far smaller, reversible, and more durable. So a lot's changed, and it's time for the connector to evolve. And that was introduced as the connector for the next decade. Europe is now mandating that all devices within a remit of the law, which includes wired charging, like headphones, phones, tablets, laptops, all use USB-C. Now, USB-C was introduced nine years ago in 2014 and first implemented by wait for it apple one connector supports usb data display port power hdmi vga all through one connector the technology behind this is a brand new standard called usb c and apple along with a number of other companies have all worked together to create this new industry standard and you're going to see it appear in more products first you see it here on the new MacBook. So based on all of the evidence, the effective shelf life of these connections is around about a decade and the EU want everything from the next year, 2024, to have a USB-C charging port on it, which will then be a decade old. Now the EU started work on this legislation in 2009, two years after the original iPhone was released by Steve Jobs. It's a revolutionary mobile phone. And yes, back then, every phone basically had its own charger, which was hardwired to the transformer that you plugged into the outlet. But really, that power supply, the transformer, that's where the e-waste happens, not the little cable with different ends on it. And right now, we have two cables. That's not to say that lightning should stay around forever. It absolutely shouldn't. But the issue is the mandate and how slow it will be to change that. So I think Apple's sharing of MagSafe as the basis of Qi charging is a clear indication that charging won't be via a port much longer. Now we've already heard that Apple has been planning portless iPhones for years. We've also heard that Apple wants to make the physical buttons on the iPhone capacitive with taptic engines behind to simulate presses like on the Magic Trackpad or the solid state home button that has been on iPhones since the iPhone 7. And the reason for all of that is basically to make the iPhone more sealed and more resistant to dust and dirt and water and other stuff that might make your phone die. That sounds like something that would reduce e-waste. But data transfer is not actually covered by the EU's legislation. An airdrop to a Mac is already faster than transferring via Lightning. With Wi-Fi 6, AirDrop can send files faster than most SSDs can even write them. So why are we complaining about slow lightning cables? Ah, uh, yeah, I, I forgot. Some people still use Windows. Thoughts and prayers. Apple releasing MagSafe as a Qi 2 standard is also a huge deal for them, showing that they're not being anti-competitive. If you think Apple's hanging on to Lightning for the made-in iPhone license money, you have lost your mind. It was a tiny income for a company of Apple size, and there was so much on the market that used Lightning without bothering with the MFI badge, so it basically made no difference to Apple. The idea that this was some huge moneymaker for Apple is absolutely ludicrous. A couple of million might be a lot to you and me, it ain't to Apple. Now, would I find it marginally more convenient if Apple used USB-C on the iPhone rather than Lightning. Well, yes, it would be able to use the same cable as my MacBook Air can use to charge, although I tend to use MagSafe, and also my uh, iPad Air. And in like five years or so, when I've also upgraded my wife's iPhone and her iPad, and both of my kids' iPads, and my Magic Keyboard, and my trackpad, and various other items in my house, it would be super easy to just have one cable style but also the connector will be 14 years old by then. 
tech moves fast and mandating something that takes 12 years to agree on when the technology typically lasts less than a decade and progress is consistently accelerating is a fool's errand and will stifle innovation, no question. So I'm personally glad that Apple is raising the middle finger to Europe and about to abandon wired charging almost certainly. Expect MagSafe or Qi2 mounts in your next car's dashboard. Those magnets that align the coils make charging far faster and far more efficient. And the wireless power consortium themselves say that this paves the way for significant future increases in wireless charging speeds. And that would make this way more feasible for things like iPads and Macs and other devices that might not want to have a physical hole in them so that you can charge them. Imagine being able to take your iPad in the pool with you, or maybe just to read in the bath. The future is bright, and because it takes so long for governments to catch up, the future is probably still free. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you to the Patreons for watching this video. And if you've got thoughts, because I know you have, let me know down in the comments. Want the latest Apple news leaks and rumors? Subscribe and ring the bell.